Hello and welcome. Here we have my little torture program I've been running on this. Uh, this is the 40th pet and this drive. And I was wondering, 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 wondering if I could do, not that it would be that advantageous. And here I am. You know what? I'm mostly in the dark. This is not necessarily good. Hang on here. I have this focused in on the screen. Maybe. Because I have a TV behind me here in the TV room. Oh, gentlemen. Yeah, that gives me a little bit of light. Just a little bit of light, although it is changing light. That's all right. Okay, so I'm wondering if I could do another severed you know, from 15, comma, 8, comma, 15, comma, quote, oops, don't need that, quote, and then I... Quote. I'm not sure if this is going to work at all. Let's see. A string. Colon. Close. 15. Let's test this for a moment. If I just say go to 200, it's going to syntax error. Well, it opened the thing. Um, no, perhaps I think that won't work. I think it won't. Maybe this is not something to pursue at this time. I'm just wondering, oh, you know what I could do, though? Not that it would make much difference. 200. because I'm not cataloging different things. I'm going to get rid of line 200. I'm going to list again and see if there's any other go sub opportunities. X equals zero, TI is X equals zero, that's the counter for determining how many times I've run through. TI dollar sign is the time. Clearing the screen, of course, clears the screen. And we initialize both drives. And we add two X. And the ghost of 100, which is the print, clear the screen, tell me how many times, <gasps> print the time, that makes sense. That makes sense, perhaps, perhaps nothing else makes a tremendous amount of sense. I was trying, see in the old days, of course, it was limited memory, I was trying to find out, figure out better ways to save every literally every bite of memory, and I suppose there is probably, maybe, well, I don't know how to, see, the I zero, I just try to do the I, and then have the other thing as a variable. Doesn't seem to like that. So maybe this is as good as it gets. Now what I could do, of course, is squeeze more onto different onto the lines. For example, I could do zero x equals zero colon ti dollar sign equals quote one, two, three, four, five, six, quote. There, there's a huge saving. And I could get little line one. Let's see, I suppose I could do 10, open, 15, comma, 8, comma, 15, comma, quote, I, quote, 
colon, close 15, oh, great, 15, colon, x equals x plus 1, colon, go sub 100, colon, cat, catalog, colon, go sub 100. I could. And then I could get rid of 11. I could get rid of 12. I could get rid of 15. I could get rid of 17. If I run it, does it still work? And indeed, it does. So, no. This does not save tremendous amounts of memory, but perhaps a little bit. Now this time, I'm going to move up. Now I can't move across as I would like to. I cannot because the key is not working. But I can go up and then say, go sub 100. Oh, did I wipe out the close 15? I did. Oh. And now I can't move back. Catalog D0. Go sub one. Oops. One hundred. And now I suppose I can go back across. I can move up. And I would need one, two, three. Fifteen colon. And then I could get rid of line twenty two and twenty five and twenty seven. And then I can run. And then I can list once again. Oh, I can't go over there, so I need to. same program that does the same thing in the same way. It's just tighter. And yes, I imagine it saves a teeny tiny little bit because there's different line, or there aren't the different line numbers, not a whole bunch, but remember back in the day, especially with the 8K pad, when we're working with literally 8K 
which really doesn't mean 8,000 characters. It means more like 7,000. Every byte was important. I suppose I could probably, if I were to list this again, I could maybe find other ways to be even more efficient and smaller and tighter. I could. But there comes a time when, you know, like if you put too much on a line and then you want to change something, you got no room and da 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 da. But anyway, that is pretty okay. And of course, you know, for good programmers, or not good programmers, but programmers that have space and are worried about. Um, oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. Um, worried about space. Yes, worried about space. Rem. Line. Zero. Sets. Variables. Uh, where's that thing? X is the counter ti dollar sign Oops, I went too late. ti dollar sign is Let's see how that lists out. Yes. Anyway, but, I mean, if you want people to be able to know what you did and why you did it, especially in complicated things, you would put in little things like this, this remark, or rem, which does nothing. It, just, it does take up memory, but if you have room. But as this, my electricity teacher used to tell me, Herb Burlington, you always have to worry about the guy coming after you. And that was, you know, like, meant that you leave at least six inches of wire inside an electrical box, like in a switch or something, in case something has to come and somebody, they have to snip some or whatever that they have enough to work with. So, in the same idea, remark statements, they do take up memory, but if you're doing something complicated and you want somebody else to be able to look in and say, oh, what was going on here and why was it going on, you can put in a remark statement. And does it, yes, does it take up memory? Yes, it probably takes up more memory than what we just saved. And does it do anything? No, it's just in there to help the people who come after you. And that is what it's there for. That's all it does. So this, <coughs> this can continue to test and torment this disk drive, which does seem to be quite fine. Later on, I will see about finding some gooby gone to get the stuff off, and also I will put the screws back into the drive, into the bottom, which is not always easy. But yet, it must be done. So the drive is back, it is secure, it is happy. And uh, if I do end up selling this one, then I know that it will ship securely when, of course, wrapped in tons and tons and tons and tons of bubble wrap. And, uh, you know, you know, you know. By the way, one last thing here. I'm going to press run stop. It's hard to see. I'm back in the dark. Suppose, just suppose, I've been running this thing for a long, 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 long time, and then I had to stop it for some reason, and I really did want it to say, oh, no, no, whoops. I say I've had it running for 
oh, I don't know, five hours, 25 minutes. I can, and then I stop it, and I'm like, oh no, I really don't want to lose track. I can change my variable. I can, and then I can run it. And it will now reflect that it's been running for five hours, 25 minutes, and one second, five seconds. Da -da 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 -da. So, you know, if uh, something does come up, you can always change the variable to reset, or sorry, to reset to what you wanted to, not to zero. <laughs> anyway, so I will leave this drive to continue to be tormented. I did switch the discs. I now have the 1571 test demo disc and the uh, something. Oh, easy script. That's what I have. And perhaps I'll look at something else and see what other testing I can do. But right now, I'm going to let this sit and do its thing. So have a lovely, lovely day, and see you again. Bye for now.